real quick before I get started. Milwaukee brushless four and a half inch grinder. I used it to shave this down, this piece of angle iron down, maybe shaved it down a quarter inch all the way down. And, and I used it to cut two chain links and cut the ends off of these on both sides. And it was a fully charged battery, 6.0. And it took two bars. That's why them down, that's why welders prefer corded. But as y'all can see, I upgraded from the Husky to the Craftsman. Picked this up for a good deal, like 150 bucks. It's taller. It's got an extra drawer and it's five drawers instead of four drawers. I believe they're the same width, but the boxes, it's got deeper boxes in the middle here. And uh, it's nice, because this one, problem with it was, if you've seen my last video, water come down in here but with this toolbox you see it kind of did Bodie's sides out a little bit but it still closes see with this one though you don't get no water coming down granted the whole thing is 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 spot welded all the way around you can't see it i can't focus good enough but there's little tiny little circles everywhere from the spot welds but this one won't leak no water bad like the other one will. <clears throat> so, up here in the top door, we got our miscellaneous junk. I give y'all a little rundown of what we got in here. Got electrical tape, random shit, box cutters, all kinds of stuff. All kinds of miscellaneous junk. Ain't got nothing in this top door yet. I'm gonna put my wire and stuff in there. I got screwdrivers, scrapers, picks, uh, Allen heads, all that good stuff. This drawer got all my pliers and wrenches, adjustable wrenches. So, like, pipe wrench and my adjustables. Got all my pliers and vice grips and all that junk in here. Some of these are brand new. Some of these stuff I got for Christmas. I know it's July. I'm just finally unpackaging it. Some of this, like this Husky right here is brand new. Same with, same with all this Husky stuff. All that older Craftsman stuff, that's all been there a while. Now, in this box we got random wrenches. Some of these are... These are actually pretty cool because they'll go from, it'll do, what's a better one? This one right here, it'll do 5 8 15, and 16. You got right here, push that in and it tightens it up. Over here on the open face end, it's got two different parts. Pretty cool. A uh, new set of wrenches. Uh, I like these. I've used them a little bit. These are the pittsburgh's you know junky whatever wrenches but i can beat up on them and they'll work still but it's like no skip metric and standard and they fit really really well it's probably the third set of these i've had and i i love them but i have crow's foot wrenches i haven't got to use these too much that's why they look brand new but uh my dad gave me these uh in here i also got i needed them for a certain job so i bought a little kit of them of these uh reversible ratchet wrenches from craftsman i ain't used them enough to know whether they're good or not but they don't seem to have too much play in them so they seem pretty all right and then this drawer is temporary i'm gonna buy me that big master socket set from Northern tool was like 200 bucks. It's got short, deep, metric and standard for three eighths and half inch. But I got half inch deep well impacts, impact sockets for metric and standard. And I got shallow standards. I got three eighths ratchet, three quarter, three eighths ratchet, random adapters, another half inch ratchet. Or no, uh, three-quarter half-inch ratchet, excuse me. 
and then I got my cobalt chromies in here and there's another 3 8 ratchet right there but yeah uh, I mounted this toolbox down kind of a weird way with these chains holding it down and I welded these gap links shut so that they couldn't be pried open in the parking lot or something but the angle irons just here to hold it in place and keep it from shifting side to side and this is and these chains are here so it can't be pulled out obviously if this thing's locked with all these tools in it nobody's moving it because i can barely move this thing empty like uh i was gonna i was gonna attempt to do something like what i tried just for fun i'd already bought the new toolbox so i decided i'd try it i don't have a mig welder i do have a tig welder but I don't have any shielding gas for it um so i tried to oxy fuel weld it and you can see ugly but it's holding ugly with holes in it so there's a difference between holding and holes in it and we want the we want the first one but I, I know I can fix that hole but I ain't I ain't gonna try it on a new tool on a brand new toolbox even if it is just a craftsman toolbox so I said fuck it and I said I wasn't gonna do that even though that would be the cleanest, nicest way to do that, would be to just TIG weld, put a sweet fucking TIG weld all the way down this. I'm sure if I had a TIG welder, it wouldn't blow through, but this works just fine for my application. It's got angle iron on all four sides, as for this one just had it on two sides. And the way I had this one before I tried to weld it, it had self-tappers going down and in, and they'd always end up loosening up or breaking and wallering out these holes in here. So I wanted something that'd be a little bit more long-term and I think this kind of looks pretty cool. But like I say, it is bowing out these sides a little bit. I would like to maybe, because this doesn't have a nut on this side. If I put a nut on both sides, it would keep it, it would keep it taut. It would keep it at a specific tension and not bow these sides out like you see you see it real good right there but i don't know i ain't gonna worry about it uh for right now i'm gonna run it for a little while and see how i like it but uh anyways i hope y'all enjoy this video and uh, if anybody any of my hundred followers or subscribers are curious about the name change um that's i just changed it i thought it fit better you know oconee iceman that's what people call me who know me call me iceman um and i live in oconee county but that's the name change and if you want to follow me on tiktok it's also oconee iceman but anyways hope you all have a good one and i'll see y'all in the next one